Hello Capricorn and welcome to your August reading. So what did I feel drawn to putting out for you with these lapis lazuli crystals? So I want to say that this is connected with the third eye. So I feel like there is a third eye expansion here for you in August, seeing things more clearly. Um, visualization um, also I feel like there is something to do with work okay working hard I feel like you're working hard on something interesting here I'm seeing with this one there's a lot of white with just a couple of like two two dots of blue here so I'm feeling like um, and it looks like a boat to me so it feels like that perhaps you're moving moving or moving on from something or you're moving towards something it's going to be different for everyone take what resonates but that's what's sort of coming up here um yeah and there's something about like as above so below so how you visualize uh something how you see something is how it's going to present for you so if you want to see your relationships in a certain way, that's how they're going to present to you. And um, this can go into any other areas as well. So there's something about how you're seeing something in August. Um, and it can move something towards you or can move something away from you. That's what I'm getting. That's the message there. So just take that into account. Now, if, you know, obviously this is a general reading. It may not resonate for, ev for uh, everyone, but there will be more messages as I move on into your reading. So let's see what else for August, please, for Capricorn. Oops, and the fire went out. And um, let's light that fire back up. So wherever you may, some of you may be feeling a little bit less energy, less enthusiasm, less drive in some way. Um, Spirit, that's a message to um, light it back up. I know that the, um, I'm shuffling the cards, but I did this in the previous reading and that didn't happen. So just be aware here that um, don't let anything blow out your flame or anyone blow out your flame. And if you feel like a little bit less energy than normal, um, maybe you could light some more um, candles around you and look at the candle. Um, just bring that fire element into your life, all right? So let's have a look. We've got here align your universe, navigate distractions, all right? So make sure that you're not um, tapping into too much social media. Um, or energies from other people uh, make sure that you're uh, um, focused on what you're wanting to build here rather than focusing on the distractions okay if, and the distractions are going to blow out your flame okay everything that we everything that we consume you know physically mentally spiritually um, emotionally is all um, it's where you're putting your energy so um, we don't want to consume too much in one area because it's going to affect other areas of your life okay we've got here open intuition like I said the lapis lazuli your your uh, your um, third eye is opening here Capricorn you're going to start seeing things in new ways um, your intuition is opening. Perhaps for some of you, you've been asking for information about something. You've been asking for more clarity. Some of you have been wanting to open your third eye. Some of you have been wanting to open to your um, spiritual gifts as well. Because I am seeing here uh, the eyes on the hands. So some of you may be spiritual healers. But this also just talks about you seeing things in another way as well. As I was saying in the beginning. Um, and you know when your third eye opens you you see the same life in a different way and then you make decisions in accordance to that and that's why this the opening of that third eye is so special um, yes you can see the negatives of that is you can see what needs to be healed but that's not even a negative because it's positive because it's only going to create better for you in your life um, and you start to see the distractions you start to see the um, 
the propaganda, for instance, you start to see, um, you get to see what's right in front of you that's not good for you, for you in some way and you get to change that. So, yeah, it, it benefits your life in so many ways, Capricorn. We have here awakened spirit. There we go. Desire to change. You've been desiring a change here. You've been wanting to see things in another way. You've been wanting to open to your spiritual gifts. Take what resonates. I'm getting different messages for different people. All, all might resonate. Um, but you've been wanting this. You've been wanting to awaken. You've been wanting to elevate. You've been wanting to evolve. Um, or your soul is ready to evolve and you are opening up to a new vision, a new way of seeing things um, and you're going to be able to change your life in in regards to that and you're going to um, choose what you want to move towards or what you want to move away from, okay, what I was seeing here. So you're going to make those choices. So yeah, August, you're going to start to see things very clearly. All right, let's see what other messages you have for August, please, for Capricorn. All right, so we have the 10 of summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can, t can trust. So perhaps you're wanting this sort of family life or wanting loving connections around you. Um, perhaps too, you could be reevaluating your life and how much time you're spending with your family or with your children um, or with your significant other um, or your community in some way, take where it, res where it resonates. Um, so you, you could be reevaluating your life in that way as well. How do you want to feel at home in your life? What satisfaction do you want? What is fulfilling to you? This is the change that's happening. This is, this is the the course of action that you're taking here in August and you're releasing. Yeah, you're making decisions here, Capricorn, and you're going to change and you're going to release the past. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunity. It's time to move on. As I said, do you want to move towards something or away from something here, Capricorn? So this the the you are the captain of your ship, I'm hearing. And so, and look, we've got the boat here as well. There you go, all right? Who do you want on your boat and who don't you want on your boat? Who, what experiences, um, do, so what things do you want to take with you in your boat and what things don't you want to take with you on your boat, okay? There's something around that consuming here. So you're going to be really reevaluating your life and looking at how you can come into more fulfillment here, and so this is really beautiful energy for you, Capricorn. And you're ready. I'm hearing you're ready. You're so ready. And the spirit guides hear it. The universe hears it. We have here the nine of autumn. Yes, you're ready to um, you're ready to go after what you want, Capricorn. You're ready to uh, make changes in your life. You're you're ready to take responsibility of your life here, Capricorn. You are ready. Let me just move that down a little bit here. We have here the six of autumn. The good news, you, sorry, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money, borrowing, rising and repaying debt. Some of you, there is an unexpected inflow of money coming in. For others of you, is, there's a message here about um um, looking after your finances or perhaps making sure that that, that you're, um, what's coming in and what's going out is balanced as well. So take that where it resonates. Um, but also there's a message here that's saying the, do, the good you do comes back to you. And I, again, I get that message with that boat, you know. Um, what do you want to move towards? What don't you want to move towards? Because the decisions and where you want to put your energy here, Capricorn, is what you're going to um, allow in your life. It's, it's how you're going to um, be moving forward. So it's all about choices for you in August. All right, we've got here the dreamer. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, you're reevaluating. You are um, dreaming about what you want. You're looking at what you really want. 
and making changes towards that. You're visualizing that. You're bringing it to be. If you don't have any lapis lazuli, I suggest getting some. Um, that may really support you if you feel drawn to do so, of course. Um, it says embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, trust yourself. So you, you're going to embark on something new through what you're reevaluating here and you're going you're gonna to go for it. Um, it's a, and for some of you, this is an entirely new path. Um, for some of you, you may be looking at venturing out into self-employment in some way, but that won't be for everyone. Um, but I'm just mentioning that because it is here. But you are claiming your responsibility, your, your independence in your life. And this is what is going to bring back good energy towards you as well because you're investing in you. Beautiful. We have here the Prince of Winter, intellectual, determined, focused, impulsive. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden and unexpected changes. We've got unexpected inflow of money, unexpected change, change. There's definitely change here, as I was saying. So things are going to move really quickly. Once you make a decision, you're going to um, you're going to make changes here. You're deciding to release something and move forwards. And yeah, energy is going to move quite quickly when it, once it does. When you decide to make a change for your life, universe conspires with you all right it's just the laws of the universe it just that's how it happens all right and so there's this you know there's this shift within you and this realization that's happening within you and you make this you set this strong intention and that's another thing the strongest the intention that feeling body that puts out the more you attract that it just magnetically attracts to you and that's why there's going to be unexpected change and I, I want to point out here, like I find, um, I find that I go through so many changes, and it's because I'm, I'm always changing things in my life and looking at improving my life. So of course, when that happens, there's going to be unexpected that happens because, um, because I've shifted my energy, and things then have to be reshuffled in order to align with me. And so, and even though sometimes consciously sometimes that can be very difficult and challenging and my mind has trouble keeping up um but it all it's all part of the greatest and higher, highest purpose it's all part of that manifesting here capricorn so yeah keep going after your dreams oh had quite a few cards will we take all of these cards spirit there's too many i'm going to put them back because there's probably about seven cards there i just want one Oh, okay, two. All right, we've got the lovers here. The true love that is long-lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. Um, I feel like, and some of you could be making decisions about your health as well, uh, but with the lovers card, this tells me you're making choices from the heart. You're really looking at your life. Where, What do you want in your life? Who do you want in your life? And then you're making changes in regards to that. Some of you may be looking at your relationships. As I said, who do you want to carry on your boat and who don't you want in your boat? Because if you carry too much in your boat, your boat sinks. All right. And then you're unhappy. So that's again, there's this be mindful of what you're taking in energetically or physically. Four of autumn, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance of how you spend and save your money, help out those who are less fortunate. Interesting because we have two cards here that are mentioning, um, I was saying here, channeling through to look at what's going, what's coming in regards to your finances. And then it also says that here, but there's also mentioned twice in these cards that the good you, you do comes back to you and also here, help out those less fortunate. So for some of you Capricorn, you might be offering your services. You might be helping others in some way in August. And um, Spirit's mentioning that that energy will come back to you. Everything that you put out there comes back to you, um, Capricorn. All right. What other messages do we have here? Archangel Michael's calling me. Okay, Archangel Michael, what messages for Capricorn? We have have confidence. 
Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Okay. So you may even be looking at things you want to change in regards to your physicality as well, um, your health. Go forwards fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way and for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So yeah, this is, this is looking at where you're putting your energy and to whom you're putting your energy to Capricorn. All right. And go forwards fearless, fearlessly. That is this dreamer. And this is the full energy here is going after your dreams. It's going after making decisions in your life and going for it. Um, what other messages do you have here? For Capricorn. Ooh. All right. We've got Miracle. Wow. Look at that. So there is a miracle manifesting here for you. And this is that unexpected. I feel like something unexpected is coming and it's going to feel like a miracle to you, Capricorn. Some of you might have been praying for a miracle. Well, it's coming in. You're going to be able to see something very clearly and you're going to be able to make a decision upon that, which is going to help you here, Capricorn. We've got here an important end and a new beginning. And here we got as the full card, new beginning. As I said, who, you know, what do you want to move towards? What do you want to move away from? And who are you taking in this boat? What do you want? What's going to bring you fulfillment? So you're going to come to this understanding and something's coming to an end and a new beginning is coming in. So this is really positive for you, Capricorn. And on the back of the deck, they're letting me look at here is it's a time for a treat. Remember to look after yourself and treat yourself. All right. Um, for, for some of you who are worker bees, work, 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 work and no play. There's a message here to make sure you treat yourself and look after yourself. All right. Very important. All right. Any other messages for my Capricorns, please? Any other Oh, that wanted to fall on the ground, that one. And it went face down. Okay. The hanged man, suspense and waiting. Oh, you're waiting for this miracle. You're waiting for this new beginning. You're waiting for some, some um, information here. Uh, or it could be even money here. You've been waiting for something to be in suspense. Something here's it's almost like I'm getting the vibe from spirit. It's like you know when you're in a movie and you sort of know something's coming and you feel when's it gonna come? Like I'm getting that vibe, so I feel like you're feeling that this suspense energy. It's like, oh, I just feel like something is coming and I just don't know what it is. So that's kind of the energy I'm getting with that. All right, we have the moon. Yeah, it's not really being revealed to you at this stage. Um, and as I said, you feel it. You feel it in your bones, Capricorn. But um, it, this is a surprise. It's a surprise from the universe that's coming forwards here. So things are going to happen in miraculous ways, a turn of events. We have the princess of pentacles. You're bringing something to life here. She's actually pregnant. Some, someone might be pregnant who's watching. Um but this also is bringing something to life, nurturing something, growing something. This is you or some other area of your life. As I said, you, you really are looking at um, and reevaluating here. Whoa. And you know what? It's interesting because I'm seeing this as source. I see this as the I see this as the umbilical cord. So it's like you are connected to source always. So that's just the message that I have for someone there. The next card which fell on the ground is the Eight of Cups. So yeah, you're, you're definitely leaving something behind here um, and you're walking into a new beginning and it's going to be, um, it's going to come in a very unexpected way here, Capricorn, okay? Each and every one of you, it's going to be something different. 
but to get ready, I want to say, um, and it's going to be very rejuvenating because I felt like spraying my spray of oils. Um, and so it's going to be something very rejuvenating here. And um, yeah, so I just have to have a drink of water. Any other message? Yes, can't forget the abundance cards. Right, Angels of Abundance for Capricorn. Oh, they all fell out together. So we have here cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. So there could be some um, cooperation, teamwork, um, that that will be happening in August. This could also mean that your spirit guides are, are working with you to help you to come to a realization, to come to an understanding, to make changes in your life, to bring you, excuse me, fulfillment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. We've got gratitude. Count your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. I have to point out something here and just because I know from my own experience, and this may resonate for someone, but when I'm in a state of funk, <laughs> right, it's... And, and you see gratitude. Oh, yeah, have gratitude. It's like it's very hard to open your heart and have gratitude when you're feeling something. So you, when that happens, Capricorn, you need to get that energy released. All right. And you do have the release card here. So if there's something you're not happy about, that you're feeling frustrated about, that you, you know, you, that you in your present moment here because you do have the Eight of Cups, all right, you're leaving something behind, you're moving away from something. Make sure that you, and with the moon as well, um, perhaps the reason why you haven't been feeling sort of grateful for something as well could be because there's unconscious wounding there as well. But what I what I want to say is you need to face up to the feelings and acknowledge those feelings because we can just say, oh yeah, I'm going to be great, I'm grateful, but it still doesn't get to the bottom of the issue, the problem within you, that, that wounding within you. And that needs acknowledging. And I find I will go through this, trying to keep you know you try to keep yourself in a higher vibration it doesn't work you need you need to acknowledge that within you and when you do whew, things shift quickly so i just wanted to point that out deservingness you are beloved child of god like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that god and the angels can see just how amazing you truly are. So you are deserving um, and you are worthy and you're yeah, you're walking away from from something here and you're walking this unexpected change that's coming towards you from that. So yeah, big evaluation month for you for August. Now I'm gonna get your charms and we'll have a look at your charm messages. All right, let's get your charms. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. All right, August messages for Capricorn. What's coming up? All right, let's just move this back a little bit. Okay, so we have here the clear court. So again, this is clarity, seeing things clearly, right? Clear vision. We have a hat and we have the ring. This tells me that there's a new friends or this is with friends that you already have a strong bond with. This could be a new bond or a bond that you already have with a friend. So you're going to be spending time with that person or you're going to be meeting this special friend in August. I also see here with the tiger that um, I also I'm getting this message. Whenever I see the tiger, I always see it sort of um, taking taking its time 
as it and, and, and sort of quietly moving through the grass. So I always get this message of um, perhaps not revealing absolutely everything um, to everyone just yet. Um, just take your time, measured steps as well. Um, and also there's a ferocity with the tiger as well. And um, but this tiger kind of looks like a friendly, a friendly tiger. He's kind of happy. Um, but maybe that also what I'm hearing here is there's a time to be there's a time to be happy and there's a time to really reveal your true feelings or to show your teeth in regards to something and, and you know not in a in a bad way at all Capricorn but it's more about being more truthful standing in your truth and actually saying how you feel about something and just saying um putting your boundaries up as well and um protecting protecting yourself in some way so that's a message for someone for others of you as i said there's a message here of not revealing everything too quickly just take your time look at the goal and then just take the take the um steps towards it we've also got this uh cat here so um to me, cats are protection as well. So again, there's that message of protecting yourself, looking out for yourself. And with all the re-evaluating you're doing in your life, you're making a lot of decisions here. So be gentle with yourself as well. All right, we do have a little um, child symbol here. So for some of you, and we did see, I think it was your reading. I can't remember. I think it was with the pregnant belly. So for some of you, you could be having a child. Um, for others of you, this, this could be time with your children or this is to do with your inner child. And remember I was saying for some of you need to investigate a little more. Um, and, and again, with that message of the tiger, like I'm saying, sometimes you need to show your teeth. Sometimes you need to express that's what what is within you, okay? Because it'll boil over at some point anyway if, it, if you don't. This is telling me that there's a lot of growth happening here. Um, and there's fruit on this tree. So there is... Um, something material coming in for you we do have this little um i can't think i can't think of what it's called right now but you would know what it is i feel like this is telling you just to be mindful of your health um look after your health um you could be just more focused on your health at this time as well take what resonates we also have here music symbols so um you may be concert going to concerts listening to a lot of music that could be healing through music you could be using chanting um you take what resonates there we've also got here the tarot cards here so seeking advice um and i also want to say what i'm hearing with that is the cards are being laid out for you through the decisions that you make capricorn in august um and we've got here this little shrubby bush all right so hmm I want to say it's interesting because what I heard when I saw that was something hidden. And and we we're talking about him walking through the grass. So maybe as you take your time and you start moving through the grass, you're going to see something and you're going to be like, what? That was going on? Are you serious? Or I didn't realize that. Dang, I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to make a decision from that. All right, so that could also be the message. So that is the messages I have for you, Capricorn. Um, if you like this, if it resonated for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you so much for being here. Much love and bye for now.